Hello everyone and welcome to NBA Top Shot. NBA Top Shot is a new kind of collectible in an open, digital, always on world and marketplace. But before we get into it, there are two important concepts to keep in mind. The play, which is a specific moment in history and can be thought of as the picture on a physical trading card, and the moment, which is the individual collectible itself. Now these moments come in different packs. For example, this legendary Kawhi Leonard moment is from the Hollow 2020 pack while this legendary Giannis moment is from the Cosmic Pack. In this video, I want to show you the different types of sets. This sets page is the full menu of everything in the NBA Top Shot universe, the different set of collectible moments that have all been created so far. An open set means that new plays may be added. For example, this set currently has 221 and can continue to have new moments added and increase over time. A closed set means that no new moments will ever be added to the set. For example, this set only has 10 moments in it and it will remain that way. The key thing to remember is not all sets are created equal, so I want to show you the different categories. The first is the base set. This is the most inclusive set as you can get base set moments in pretty much any pack. Some of the lower priced packs contain two while the more expensive packs can have up to six or more. What is most collectible in the base set, besides superstar caliber players, are the low serial number moments. A serial number represents the sequential order that each moment was minted on the Flow blockchain. For example, a number one serial LeBron James is incredibly rare because it was the first of one of that moment ever created. The key thing to keep in mind is that if a specific moment says it is a limited edition or has a finalized edition size, there can never be another unit created, and that's what the blockchain prevents. For example, this LeBron James has an addition size of a thousand, so no more of this specific LeBron James play will ever be created again by Top Shot. While this other LeBron James moment has a circulating count, which means that Top Shot will continue to mint new moments of this play as needed for future packs. Moments become retired or marked as limited edition whenever a new play gets rotated into the base set from the same player. So there are currently three different LeBron James moments in the base set. So the first two released have that finalized edition size count, while the newest one still has an increasing circulating count. So we're already starting to see low serial numbers go for a lot of money in the marketplace. For example, most recently, a number one Jimmy Butler went for $600, and a number one Giannis went for $1,000. Let me show you another example of how limited edition moments, which are relatively rare, go up in value in the marketplace. So we're going to search for a Westbrook. And these first two are from the base set. And you can tell which moment is retired, by the LE or limited edition symbol, as well as the edition size when you click into it or to the left of it. This is one out of a thousand, which is why it sells for a lot more than the non-retired moments. Non-retired moments have a circulating count signified by the CC symbol, but not yet that total count. So even base set moments can be worth a lot more than they cost. This Westbrook moment was available in $9 packs and came with other moments as well. So there is a chance of also receiving an even higher value moment in addition like a LeBron James. So you can find any moment you want by searching in the marketplace and clicking onto it. Once you're here, you can click on this drop down menu to view all the prices. Prices are set by the users and it's easy to see which are the lowest price ones. But don't forget to check for low serial numbers or special numbers such as a serial number matching a jersey number as these are worth paying a premium for. When you find the moment and serial number you want to buy, it's easy to pay with your credit card or with Ethereum, Bitcoin, or other types of cryptocurrencies. Now let's go back and talk about the other tiers of sets released. The two other tiers of sets so far are rare and legendary and you can see what tier a set is by the sticker on the image. My personal favorite are the metallic gold limited editions, which you can see are rare. When I say rare, that means there are less of each of these moments than there are of common moments, but not more than there are of legendaries. For metallic gold specifically, 
most moments are out of 299. And there's just one metallic gold per player per series. One of my personal favorites is this Zion Williamson block moments. The gold border around the moment shows that it's from the Pelicans. And the four glowing corners around the border also show that it's a rare. Rares are a great value because they're a good balance of rarity and pack price. And you also get a bunch of base set moments when you buy a rare pack. You want to make sure to check the website on your email to see when a rare drop is coming as there's a, lim a limited number of packs available in each drop. Now let's look at a legendary set. The Hollow 2020 moments came from more expensive packs. These packs are very limited in number and tend to sell out really quickly, so your best bet is to find these on, on the marketplace. Let's look at another one of my favorite players, Anthony Davis. You could tell this moment is legendary because there's eight glowing corners around the border, and it's purple because it's a Lakers moment. There's no more than 50 of each Hollow 2020 moment, and you can see that this AD has an addition size of 50. So some sets have this big challenge star. This means that there's an active challenge, which is a way to get a reward for completing part of a set. You can see that this OG Anunnaby moment has a view challenge indicator. And if we click that, we can go to the active conference semifinals challenge. Each challenge requires you to collect certain moments and own them all when the timer expires. And if you do, you'll receive the reward shown. Rewards are never available in packs, so you need to do the challenge to guarantee you can get one. Rewards tend to be more rare than other moments, since not all moments held by users will be in a complete set when the timer expires. It's easy to see wh which moments you need to complete the challenge, as once you own the moment, it will change from black and white to color, and you can click on any you don't own to see how much it's currently going for on the marketplace. So Top Shot moments are a fun and unique experience to show off your favorite plays and collection. And one way to do this is through showcases. I have this showcase where I found that I have five of my favorite players, all the serial number 419, including superstar Steph Curry, Derek Rose, and Devin Booker. And this showcase can be viewed as a slideshow reel. This showcase can be easily shared out with friends and family or on social media by generating this unique link. I hope this video has given everyone a better understanding of the NBA Top Shot platform and why some of these moments command the value that they do. Thank you everyone and have a great day.